Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tim, and in this video, we're gonna try and make the stock exhaust look like new again. Notice how this magnet doesn't work at all because it's stainless steel. Doesn't look all that good though, so we're gonna have to see what we can, how well we can actually polish this again. Stainless steel, stainless, stainless. Now the cats here, we are actually gonna change them out, but again, stainless. The rear muffler here. This one, I think we can make look almost like an aftermarket exhaust, if not completely. Let's see here. It even has the valve here. It works. Now, you might ask yourself, why do we even bother installing the stock exhaust being that the headers and race cats were a lot faster at least compared to the worn cats that I had before. Well, the stock exhaust system is actually the only legal exhaust system that I can find, at least one that doesn't cost like a million dollars. Uh, the Smeatman headers and cats aren't E approved, which means they're illegal for anything but off-road and race use. So driving on the street isn't legal, which means that if the police uh, stop me and do a check. They can actually impound the car and then it will be sent off to a shop somewhere of my own choosing, but uh, still it has to be remedied by a shop. That is, the shop has to install uh, a new uh, E-approved exhaust, meaning a new stock exhaust. And Catalyst are super expensive mid-pipe, muffler, everything's just super expensive, you know, so sadly I have to go back to stock uh, so that if the cops um, stop me, I won't risk losing my car. I also get a big fine as well. So I have to install the stock system again, whether I like it or not. And I just can't install an ugly exhaust system when the rest of the car is so pretty, so we need to do something. This upper part here, I'm not actually going to polish it, although you could get a a beautiful shine on this. I'm thinking I'm gonna paint it black instead with some uh, heat resistant black and then possibly some heat resistant clear coat on top of that. One hundred and three point nine. Okay, I'll do some math. So the headers were, in terms of weight, doesn't matter one bit. It's 
around five kilos you you ditch by going with the uh, Smeekman uh, setup here. Now there are some variances in terms of do you run a re rear muffler or a midsection or what kind of muffler and so on. But like off the bat, there's not really <clears throat> that much difference. Okay, so here is the final result. Uh, I gave this three layers of clear coat or so, but the issue is that it doesn't really look as good as when it was just pure metal, but definitely better than before. And on this side, some heat resistant primer and then freer, free coat free coats of heat resistant clear again. So mufflers more or less ready. First, we're gonna try and hit it with a simple wire wheel. Okay, so I've had one go at it. Most of the surface corrosion is now gone. At this stage, you probably could degrease it and then give it a layer of uh, high heat resistant paint, I believe it's called. Um, we're gonna take it a little bit further and see if we can polish it out a little. But now you can actually read. Here's a little BMW and some text and yeah. This is about as good I'll, as I'll be able to make it. It's not really, it's not really that good, but if I can get this shine everywhere, then that'll be fine. That'll be good enough for me. I've been through 80 grit, 120 grit, 280, 600, and then finally 1200 grit. The mid pipe here that we tried to clean up as well. And then the crown jewels over here. Look at this. I just received these today. Brand new, original catalysts made in Germany. I actually really like them. At least when you compare them to the old ones here that have 210,000 kilometers or so. Some new mounting hardware, gaskets here, connectors, gaskets here, connectors for the mid pipe, also here, hangers for the mid pipe. Gonna reuse these here. Some new bolts, yeah, this is gonna be good. It might seem count counterintuitive, but we actually need to install the real one first. One, 
too. There. Three. Should be able to tighten the lower ones from the underside. I was actually able to reach all of them from the underside with this, except the front two ones. Well, I could barely, but I think I'm going to do them from the top. So now it's just getting this engine mount in here. Before I took it all apart, I labeled which one was for the bank one. And thus, the one without labeling, that's for bank two. There, that's not going anywhere. And we'll do the same. But this one thing I really like about BMW O2 sensors is this round clock here. This is a genius way of thinking. Let's see, I'll just do. Turns out, turns out I'm not a genius though, like this. A lot of O2 sensor plugs, the plug is square or at least the size or shape where you can't actually get a key on it, but not these BMW ones. There. This tool has turned out to be a lot more valuable than I thought it would be. There. These should, should be the final few parts of the exhaust. Some new rubber bushings here. There. And there. And I just need to torque this down a little. Right around there. 
I believe, yeah. Okay. That should be it for the exhaust. This is what it looks like. Brand new catalysts as well. I still need to install a few things. The front cross brace here, plastic shielding in the front as well. Uh, in the engine bay, there's some bracing and weather stripping and so on. But we're actually, we're more or less ready to actually take this car for a drive and see, well, one thing is how, what does it sound like? Another thing is how does it drive with the original exhaust on and fresh catalyst? I'm going to assemble the rest off cam, then we're going to start it up and then uh, we'll have a sound clip of what it sounds with a completely stuck exhaust. Then we'll do a drive, see how it sounds, see how it performs, and hopefully we'll have some good content to show. Car is now back together. Let's try and start it up, see what it says. I'll just place the microphone here. Exciting. Okay, so it, so it doesn't really say much, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's not that it sounds bad, it's just doesn't really say much, at least not yet. Hmm. Has a new smell, probably the cat's burning off. Okay, let's go for a drive. All right. Let's try it. Doesn't really sound much, at least when you're in here in idle, but definitely less, less noisy in here. Off the bat, doesn't seem slower. Picks up speed rather nicely. try and push it. I can legally drive 90 kilometers per hour here, so. Drop it down into second here. Not 
Not bad. Honestly, it sounds really good. The stock exhaust system. And I'm gonna have to go home and look at the data, but it's not really that much slower than the uh, headers and race cats even. So it's so much more pleasant to drive and the sound is still there, you know, it's just a little bit more muted and you get no drone whatsoever in any RPM or speed or whatever. It's just nice, crisp, six-cylinder sound. Sometimes I think that I'd like to sell this car to start a new project, such as an E30, for instance. But then I drive it and it's, it's so good. All right, that'll be it for this video here. I hope you found it uh, helpful or anyway interesting. And if you did, please consider liking or subscribing. Uh, I really do appreciate it uh, when people do. It's a lot more fun to have someone, someone to share it with um, cars as a hobby. I still need to let it cool down. And then afterwards I can go ahead and retighten the uh, catalyst bolts or the header bolts, if you will. BMW doesn't say that you should, um, but from experience, there's always some that you either forgot to tighten or two, they just kind of came loose from the heat. So I always go over them once it's cold and then usually that'll be it for the entire uh, life cycle of the, those uh, bolts and nuts. So. All in all, I found it to be a success. I'm pretty happy about how the car actually sounds. I'm happy about the performance as well. Having looked at the data a little, I can also see that it's barely any slower. Uh, at least it's not much. So all in all, I'd say being that this just fits so much better, it it's not illegal for me to drive like this, whereas the old setup was illegal. It's kind of a no-brainer, really. Performs good, sounds good, legal. Yeah, so, but anyhow, um, again, hope you found it interesting or helpful. Have a nice day. Bye.